Hi, I'm Kerry Knoll, and thank you so much for joining me today again um, for Sales Funnel Tuesdays. And today I am going to be covering um, how to fix a broken order form inside of your ClickFunnels account. So if you're experiencing this, if you've run across this in the past, here's how to solve the issue. So let me hop on over and show you my ClickFunnels sales page or order form. And let me walk you through the process. So right here we have um, the page itself up here. We're using test mode for Stripe. I'm going to copy this Stripe number. I'm going to then give my, uh, put it in my card number, my expiration date. Let's just go with some date in the future here. 0322 it can be. Let me make this 000. And if we click on purchase, and you can tell this worked because this expiry field, I could not type in any letters, only numbers. So if you have that working, right, if you come to this expiration field here and you type in a letter and you see letters showing up, something is broken. If you don't see that, if you can just type in numbers only like this, you know then it's working correctly or should be working correctly. So we're just going to click complete purchase now and see what happens. Hopefully... Fingers crossed, it does work and it brings us to the order confirmation page. And it did successfully. Okay, great. So I'm going to come back in here. This is my page editor within ClickFunnels in my template here. And if I were to, let's say, duplicate this field, okay, so we have two of these order forms. And then I decided to make some changes to what have you. I don't know why. Maybe I wanted to move it around. So maybe I wanted to put this over on this side for some reason, I don't know why, but let me just move it in here somewhere. Let's put it right there, why not? And then I decided to hide it on my page because I like to hide elements a lot and maybe you do two or sections or rows. Just remember that you did that because here's why it's gonna get broken. Once I save that and it's gonna give me a half, it'll take a minute for it to show up with caching, but let's go back. So we're back on this page and maybe it'll load up. We'll find out here shortly. Okay, so now it's fully loaded. If I type in here and I can't type, so it's working still, so it hasn't updated yet. Let me reload it. Okay, let's see if it was broken now. Nope, not yet. Okay, let me reload it. So it still hasn't cached the new changes we just made inside the editor. That's why it's not um, showing me what I want to show you. Okay, hopefully, hopefully, crossing fingers. Oh, still working correctly. It won't, won't that be something if I can't replicate this problem now for you. Um, but what happens is if you have a second order form on a page, even though it's hidden, meaning it's not visible on the page, right? It's not up here where I moved it to, or it's not over here where it was originally. And we have the second one, that hidden element will still interfere with the functionality of this new element. And so what that means is if I come in here and I can type in letters instead of just numbers, it's broken and it will not work and you'll be bad, you know, wondering why it's not working and you'll be going crazy about it, right? So I wanted to demonstrate it broken, so I keep reloading it here, hopefully, so it will actually show up and stop working correctly here. And of course, I could show you with some other examples, but I'd have to locate those and I don't have them off the top of my head right now. So this is the one we're going with. Nope, still working, okay. So bottom line is this is what would happen. Normally you would have this being broken and you'd be fig trying to figure it out and you'd be like, why is it not working? And here's another option too. We could also add, let's add another element. Let's add a two-step order form. And let's remove it as well. Okay, let's hide it. And actually, let's unhide it. So our order form here is here. And then we have our second order form, credit card form here. So this is the one we added right before. 
So let's add that back. Let's save it. I want this page to load with both forms now and show us both forms. There's the second form. See how I can type in the letters and not just numbers, right? Now this one's still working correctly and this one's not. So apparently there's something else going on here I'm not aware of. Let me see if I'm try it again. Yep, still broken. So the second one's broken. First one's still working. So the, the trick here is that if you were to replace this one with this one, right? So if we came back here and we drag this one in here and then with this one over here, saved it. We should have the reverse happen, right? Eventually here if it shows up in the next minute. Okay, this one's still the broken one. Technically speaking, I think we had to wait till 1019 exactly before we're going to be able to test this out thoroughly. I wish I had Jeopardy music playing right now in the background for you. It's good times when things uh, take a little longer than you like them to. Let's see if it's loaded up now. It might even be the way that they're ordered on the page. Nope, there it is. See, it's broken. I can put letters into it. And this one, I can also put letters into it, right? So it might load up correctly now. It did. This one's probably still broken. So I think it's the order on the page, right? So therefore, it thinks this one's still ahead of this one in far, as far as order is concerned. Whatever the case may be, the reason that they're not working correctly is still simply the fact that uh, there's two of them and one of them won't work. One of them will work. But a lot of times what you might do is you might be messing around with the page, moving things around. Maybe you duplicated a section, maybe you duplicated the order form itself and you were trying to get it to work. You couldn't get it to work. And then you find out, hmm, I wonder why this is broken now. And the, usually the culprit is you've got two order forms. One just is usually hidden like we had a hidden before. And the solution obviously is just to remove it from the page. So that should solve the problem. And when you do that, then your order form, if you just have one order form, you'll be just fine. Now, if you want to find the second order form and you aren't sure where it is, you can come to elements, click on manage, and it shows you all of the different things you have hidden on your page. And you can do a control F and search your page for, um, we can do credit. So there's credit card form, right? And then that's all I have because I deleted the other one, but I do have the two-step order form. So I can find that one. It's called order two-step. So I can just type in order and I don't have to go any further than that. I can just page down by hitting the under key and I can see it's right down here. It says order two-step, it's hidden. There it is, unhidden. So if I wanna remove that, all I do is click the delete button right there, icon, and it's gone from the page. So I hope that helps. Of course, I wasn't able to show you exactly how that works and how that should work. But the bottom line is if you're running into issues with um, your order form not working or it's not, it's automatically, um, it's not allowing you to check off the dynamically updated item, then the reason being is you're experiencing this because you have more than one order form on your page. So I hope that helps. And um, if you have any questions about that, let me know. Thanks so much. And I'll see you real soon.